Hi friends, I'm gonna show you another really fun experiment. So if you've ever looked, we can see a really big mountain called Mount Hood in Portland, Oregon. But did you know something really cool about it? It used to be a volcano. Do you know what a volcano is? It's a really tall mountain that has something inside of it that gets really, really hot and goes, comes out of the top. What's it called when it's inside, do you know? It's called magma. And when it gets really, really hot, and there's too much pressure inside, then it goes out, and that's lava. So if it's inside of the volcano, it's called what? Magma, good job. And if it comes out, lava. Do you wanna know something so cool about lava and magma? Do you know how hot it is? It's 1300 degrees Fahrenheit. That's, I can't even compare how hot that is. That's very, very, very hot, so you definitely don't wanna to touch it if you ever see it. But when you're looking at a volcano, what happens inside to make it explode is all the gas inside is what makes it really bubbly and kind of blub, 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 like that. The gas gets so big, it expands, which means it gets bigger and bigger, bigger. The word expands means bigger. So it, the gas bubbles get so big and they start bumping around and it's kind of like you're walking in a crowded hallway and you're like, hey man, I need some space. And they get so big that the pressure makes it so they're going to go up and up and up and eventually pff, it's going to come out. So we're going to make a pretend volcano. It's not going to be messy. It's not going to come out. Don't worry. What you need is a clear glass. I have a cup and a little bit of water. You don't want so much water. You need some vegetable oil and you want more vegetable oil than you have water. So I'm going to pour quite a bit of vegetable oil in. And if you see, the vegetable oil is what's yellow. It doesn't mix. So at the bottom we have water, and at the top we have the vegetable oil. And then, let me open this, you need food dye. We're gonna use red because magma and lava are typically red. And you're gonna put quite a few drops. I think I have maybe 10 drops. And if you see, all the drops are gonna go to the bottom. Well. Most of them, looks like some of them are being a little bit slow, but they're not gonna go down to the bottom of the water, they're gonna go where the water and the oil meet. So that's gonna be like the magma, and then the most important part is this, and this is an Alka-Seltzer Alka -Seltzer tablet. You can buy these pretty much at any grocery store, I bet your mom or dad have some. So we're gonna drop it in, we're not gonna mix this at all, we're gonna let it do what it's doing, so this is exactly what we want. Ready? Oop, kinda made a little bit of a mess there. So if you see, gonna start bubbling and eventually all those bubbles that are happening that's what happens when the gas bubbles inside of a volcano do you see it's already starting to work oh my goodness this is so cool I've never even done this before so this is kind of like we're both doing an experiment ah! can you hear it I'll see if I can turn it maybe it'll look cooler on one side So this is what happens inside of a volcano, is all the gas bubbles, which is what you can see, these big red bubbles, all of them fill up and they're so big they expand, remember that word means they get bigger, and there's not enough pressure, or there's not enough room, and so it's like they're walking through a really crowded hallway, and there's just no space, and they get kind of mad, they get kind of red, and then it goes... <laughs> So it's not going to explode like a volcano really would. If we did that, we'd have to put a couple other couple other kitchen ingredients in there, but I don't have those and I don't really want to make a big mess. But this is a really fun idea. You can just see how it bubbles up. You can even do it with different colors and it wouldn't really look like a volcano at that point, but it'd be a really fun experiment. So if you do this, please let me know because I'm really curious. So again, you want a little bit of water. You don't want so much. A lot of vegetable oil, a clear glass, food dye and the Alka-Seltzer tablet. Bye guys, have a good night.